All right, the next one, Cam, Brian, Stan, the Axe Murderer. Brian Stan, of course, coming off the big win over Chris the Crippler Lieben. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, I mean, think about that. Again, the, the Lieben just totally screwed yeah. up. Well, he had the opportunity, wanted, he was actually, he himself, Lieben, uh, uh, following his big wins over Belcher and Akiyama, wa was calling out Vandalay. I mean, he was, and he was in position to do so. And then with a win over that, he'd be, you'd start to have to discuss Lieben in the title contender mix at that point. But he suffers the loss to Brian Stan. Brian Stan, the former WEC light heavyweight champion, now down in uh, middleweight fighting in the UFC. He uh, got his wish, and uh, Vandalay Silva is. Uh, is going to be his next opponent once Vandalay returns to action. Now, after stopping Chris Lieben in the co-main event at UFC 125 on New Year's Day, the rising middleweight Stan requesting a fight with Vandalay, uh, and UFC President uh, Dana White had mentioned that the matchup is expected for the spring. Silva is 33-10-1. He topped Michael Bisping in the 185-pound uh, debut last February after dropping five of his last six fights, but has been sidelined since after undergoing knee surgery. Stan is 10 and 3. He stopped Lieben for his fourth win in five bouts. Uh, the UFC's schedule includes 129 on uh, April 30th in Toronto, UFC 130 on May 28th in Vegas, or UFC 131 in uh, on June 11th. So it's going to be one of those that we're looking to feature Brian Stan versus the Axe Murray. So you know, you got to wonder what Vandalay is going to come back. Yeah, it's interesting when when you go over his record about how many losses he's had. And, uh, and, you know, and he kind of changed, as far as Vandalay's concerned, he kind of changed his style now. He said, oh, you know, he's here for exciting fights, and you give the fans what they want. And he, yeah, I think he always was that, even in the pride days. And the, the ten losses, he fought like heavyweights, guys twice his size. I mean, he was one of those guys that he'd get in the, uh, like a Dan Henderson, got in the cage or, with, or ring with literally anybody. But I think at that point it was, I am going to kick your ass, no matter how big you are, and I'm going to win. Yeah. And because that was because he was such a winner, he was such a it would devastatingly beat people. Mm -hmm. But now it's almost like, and I think it did matter to win because I mean he had such a drive. If you watch him in Pride, was just a machine. Mm -hmm. I mean, just relentless. And I mean, I think it clearly has caught up to him. He's still got a lot, a lot left in him. He's still an exciting fighter. We're going to put him in, but now people are calling him out. Yeah. In Pride Days, you didn't call out the axe murder. That's a good point, because he's the type of guy, he, if you beat him, it's like, man, I just beat Vandalay Silva. But you beat, you beat the 2011 version. Yeah. If so, you, if yeah. you, you, that means something if you beat the 2005 version. You know, and that, this situation is, I mean, when we, we had talked earlier how great it would be, even if you have an ultimate fighter with a Chris Lieben as a coach and a uh, Vandalay Silva, or even just a Chris Lieben Vandalay Silva fight would be outstanding, because... Uh, you know, really, I mean, honestly, you're not going to put either of those guys in the title line. I mean, I know Chris Lieben, he likes the weed, so he's been talking, oh, yeah, I want a title shot. There's no chance. And the way <laughs> no, he was no, dominated no. By, uh, by Stan, yeah. you know, I mean, it was just such a poor performance. But in a perfect world, a perfect or a, uh, a well-trained Vandalay Silva and a well-trained Chris Lieben would be like a rock'em soccer robot. And yeah. people would love to watch that. But I don't think it has title implications. I think that guys like, it, it kind of hurts to say, but guys like Vandalay Silva, guys like Chris Lieben, they fill out cards nicely. They yeah. put some butts in the seats. They got some big names. They're like a Chris Lights Out Lytle. Generally, those are fighting words because Lieben's my boy. But no, no, I mean, I, I, I'm I, actually I a fan of him. That's well, the truth. I, but I know his place in yeah. MMA. And, uh, and and vying for a title, it would have been great because had he beaten Brian Stan and then maybe he would get that Vandalay Silva fight, then you really got to start talking about, hey, who else, you know, who's next in line for a middleweight title uh, shot? And you got to start to, yeah. Yeah, he, he'd earned it, especially with those great early wins over Belcher and Akiyama in a couple of weeks' time and then rolls it up with a Stan and an and a axe murderer win. And then, and then you got to say, come on, what else does a guy got to do? But yeah. That is, that's not how it went. Yeah. And he's got to start right back at the drawing board, and, and his place is set. So, so there you go. But uh, Stan and the Axe Murderer, that is taking place sometime this spring. Be on the lookout.